Hi, Marie here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about my top five favorite fragrances that were released in 2023. And before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And let's get into this. These all range in price points. There's some that are under $100. Uh, some designers that are actually a little bit pricier than, of course, a few niches, which honestly are not that much more expensive than the designers these days. So uh, I think I'm going to start with my most latest obsession, uh, the one that uh, I got the most recently. And so I'm just like totally enamored by it. And it is Caramel Oud by Teodoro Calatini. I don't know if it's Teodoro or Teodoro probably Theodoro. Anyway, uh, this is called Caramel Oud and it is very, very scrumptious and perfect for this time of year. Caramel Oud is so delicious. It has caramel, toffee, oud, and saffron. And what's cool about this is that although it's got the caramel and it's sweet, I wouldn't consider this a gourmand because of the oud. So it just kind of, that oud and the saffron as well kind of grounds it, gives it a bit more depth, a bit more sophistication. Some people find the oud in this to smell leathery. To me, it smells like an oud accord. Definitely unisex feel. So sometimes when we think caramel or gourmands, or in particular, uh, Theodorus Calatini, we think gourmand because you know he's come out with lemon tart and velvet cake or was that velvet chocolate or whatever uh coffee addict all very sweet mouth-watering gourmands so this is a bit of a departure and personally I find this to be way more elegant because of that oud so it's definitely wearable for a guy a guy would smell amazing on this I don't think that this leans masculine I actually think it it's right in between. So perfectly unisex, although I think many females would find this a little bit, a little bit masculine leaning. Uh, I love this. I think it's a sophisticated caramel fragrance. Uh, I enjoy wearing it. It feels comforting and cozy. Uh, it doesn't feel so opulent. Like sometimes oud fragrances can smell really deep and sexy and opulent. This smells a little bit more casual and cozy. Uh, so I think comforting, I think sweet and just kind of cozy at home. Uh, but you could certainly wear this out for an evening and you would smell super, super amazing. So love this fragrance, such an excellent release. Uh, love the longevity on it. Um, just really impressed with this one. Now, one of the designer releases that I just think is fantastic. And, and the thing is, is that there is something out there for everyone. So they have released so many fragrances. These are the ones that just really spoke to me. Uh, some people don't like these. Some people do. I love Burberry Goddess. I just think it's such an excellent fragrance. It's basically vanilla and lavender, but somehow it just smells so... I get mainly vanilla and lavender in this fragrance, but the lavender doesn't feel soapy. It smells a little bit more gourmand, or sometimes lavender uh, can smell really clean and like laundry or soapy feeling. But if you pair it with some vanilla, with some cacao, uh, with some spiciness, it can lean more into the baking category. So this has vanilla, lavender, cacao, ginger, and then just more vanilla. There's vanilla caviar, there's vanilla absolute. So they just kind of go all hog in uh, for the vanilla. And I love it. It smells like baking. It smells comforting. It's warm. It's a little bit spicy. Uh, it's quite sensual and cozy again, uh, but it's not too sweet for me. So sometimes I find lavenders or I, sometimes vanillas can go way too sickly sweet. This to me, although it's sweet, isn't sickly sweet. Uh, I just love it. And I love the lavender aspect in here. Makes me just feel so comforted and relaxed. So this is just a stellar release by Burberry in my opinion. 
The next fragrance is also a new one for me, uh, but I was really excited about this one, and it is uh, Soleil d'Hiver by um, Experimental Perfume Club. This is uh, a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance for wintertime. Soleil d'Hiver has um, some rhubarb and rose right in the opening. Like you really get that rhubarb to begin with. So it feels kind of bright and crisp, uh, a little bit sweet, a little bit tart, a little bit mouthwatering. Uh, in that opening. And then as it dries down, you start to get oolong tea. There's some spices like cardamom in there. I think there's some pink peppercorn. I notice a little bit more of the uh, the cardamom than the pink pepper. You start to get that tea vibe for sure. And then in the dry down, you get a hint of leather and tobacco along with some sandalwood. This is an extremely smooth concoction of deliciousness. <laughs> So this, like, it's it's bright enough to me that you could wear this during the day, but it, like, as it, it, like, this really morphs. So you get the rhubarb and the rose, but then as it dries down, you get more of that tea sandalwood feel uh, that feels really just kind of zen and relaxing. Um, perfect for the winter. The, the cardamom really adds that kind of cozy factor, but none of it smells overly uh, overly spicy or overly dark. It's just a beautifully smooth fragrance that I think is really great for wearing during the day. If you want something that's cozy, that's a little bit different, that's a little bit understated and elegant, this is gorgeous. This is a limited edition fragrance. I think they only they're only putting it out in the winter. Uh, maybe they'll bring it out next year as well, but I am so in love with this fragrance. So gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It I find that it sits a little bit closer to the skin. The other thing that's neat about Experimental Perfume Club, I've mentioned the fact that they've got the note kits, like olfactory kits. There's the three, uh, three kind of travel spray fragrances that you can mix into your own fragrance. I am in love with this fragrance for sure. It's so gorgeous. This is kind of a cheat because I couldn't quite decide between the two of these. I think I made my decision. So one is an honorable mention. So the honorable mention would be Sugar Leather by Unui Nomad. Now both this one and Love at First Sight were released in 2023. Sugar Leather is the one that everybody goes for and it is absolutely beautiful. It smells like you get leather. It's very, uh, somehow I find Unui Nomad fragrances to be very delicate and airy and, and yet they're like long, long lasting, a little bit sparkling. Uh, many of their fragrances to me feel kind of sparkling in a way. Uh, sugared leather is no exception. So you get a lot of sugary kind of caramel feel in here, um, but it's very, like it's sweeter than caramel uh, oud for sure. Uh, this one is a lot sweeter in my opinion. There's cinnamon, leather, labdanum, and amorous in this as well. Besides the caramel, I, I get, uh, I guess I get a little bit of that cinnamon, but the way it comes across to me is kind of a, a, a spicy caramel. Um, but a little bit more sugary than that. Uh, I definitely get the leather, but the leather is uh, just kind of under, like it just kind of undergirds that sugary feel. Uh, this one's super sophisticated, actually, definitely uh, unisex. The leather is a very wearable for a woman, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a really, really nice fragrance. It's very, very sweet. But my uh, pick out of the two releases from Unui Nomad would be Love at First Sight. So Sugar Leather is an honorable mention. It didn't make my top five. Uh, love at First Sight. I love this fragrance. And when I smell it, it makes me feel teary. Like literally every time I smell it. First of all, this is a beautiful signature scent. Uh, I think you could wear Sugar Leather as a signature fragrance too. But this is such a beautiful kind of airy floral. This is such a unique fragrance as well because it has lilac in it. And I never thought I would like a lilac fragrance. I I chose this one before I got sugared leather because I knew that everybody would be going for sugar leather and I wanted to bring something a little bit different to you guys. And I am so glad 
uh, that I got this one. It, it, it's so beautiful, especially for springtime and summer. This is gorgeous, but honestly, you could wear this all year round. This to me makes a, a beautiful fragrance for uh, someone that's a little bit more sophisticated and elegant and likes to smell very feminine. Uh, although my dad smelt this, he considered this unisex. So I think it just depends on, on what what you're sniffing with this one. Uh, this has lilac, passion fruit, ambroxan, and acacia. There's a little hint of green to this one. The lilac is beautiful, but that passion fruit that's added gives it like this beautiful sweetness, but it doesn't feel too sweet. It doesn't feel tart either. It somehow reminds me of, uh, just imagine a very humid day. You can smell the lilac in the air. It's very, very vibrant green outside. You can hear the birds singing and butterflies flitting about. The color is kind of this, uh, kind of a, a beautiful almost pink hue to everything. Um, you're wearing a crown of flowers or something like that and somehow you smell uh, some sort of tropical fruit just kind of on the wind. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is it's beautiful, it's elegant, it makes me feel teary. I would consider this honestly a masterpiece. I don't and I don't say that lightly. I haven't smelled anything like this. This is very unique. Lots of fragrances these days are kind of repeats or takes on things that are uh, really popular. This to me is very unique. Um, I can't believe I like the lilac, uh, but it is just absolutely spectacular. And yeah, for whatever reason, when I smell it, I think it's so beautiful and such kind of a, an artistic creation. Uh, not that it's unwearable, it's very wearable actually, uh, that it tears me up. It, it, it's just a, 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 just a genius concoction in my opinion. So Unui Nomad, phenomenal. Next fragrance uh, that I absolutely love. I haven't bought a full bottle of it yet, but I definitely will be getting it uh, because I just think it's so fantastic. Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion. This is such a delicious citrus vanilla. So it smells like a lemon vanilla. Uh, the lemon is kind of candied and then you get this vanilla note. I just think it's beautiful. It's mouthwatering. It's delicious. It smells like some sort of dessert. Um, it's not too sweet. It's not too tart. Uh, it's just a perfect, perfect blend of lemon and vanilla in my opinion. This has orange blossom, panna cotta, and rum as well. I don't know if I really get those notes, but all I know is it's absolutely mouthwatering. This is a must have to me, so it's one I'm definitely getting. I love that kind of lemony vanilla cake kind of vibe. So this one is just stellar. Longevity is excellent on it, and it's definitely one that I want to purchase. This and Burberry Goddess from the designer line, definitely want to get them. Uh, I'm going to actually rate all of these and put them in order, although that's going to be super difficult, but I think I can do it. The last one I want to talk about is Bianco Latte by Giardini di Toscano. This is, again, such a delicious vanilla. As far as I'm concerned, the vanillas knocked it out of the park. Uh, there was lots of vanilla, lots of caramel, but the vanillas were just stellar this year, and Bianco Latte was uh, no exception. So this is a uh, very kind of milky, slightly powdery, sweet, mouth-watering vanilla forward fragrance. In this one, you get vanilla, coumarin, and honey, vanilla, and white musk. Now, coumarin, on Fragrantica, it shows these little weird black beans. I've smelt coumarin, and to me, coumarin just smells almost like cotton candy. Like, it's a very, very sweet, uh, mouth-watering, delicious note. So to me, Bianco Latte, uh, it, I smell the powdery, uh, sweet caramel aspect. For whatever reason, it reminds me of Rice Krispie Treats. So uh, Rice Krispies, a little bit of a cereal feel, but a lot of sweetness and milkiness somehow. 
Um, I, I don't know what it is about it, but it smells just intoxicating and I love it. It's, it would be like if you slathered yourself in some sort of sophisticated version of a Rice Krispie Square. Like, I don't know why, but it's so addictive. It smells so good and it smells really enveloping and cozy and comforting again. So I absolutely love this. Like it smells mouthwatering, totally addictive. Love it. So if I were to put these in order, now remember all of these are amazing fragrances. Like I love them all. So it's really hard to choose. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm an idiot. <laughs> It's seven, so my top six. Ah, oh, oh, I can't believe, how did I mess that up so bad? I, like I'm a freaking disaster. Anyway, uh, so let's start again, now that I've all messed up here. So in number seven spot would be sugar leather. How did I do that? Like, how do I get it so wrong? So sugar leather in number six spot, uh, Burberry goddess would be in number uh no, ah, oh, oh, now I'm all, now I'm all flustered. Sugar leather would be number seven. Burberry goddess would be number six. Caramel oud would be number five. Soleil d'hiver would be in number four spot. Love at first sight. I love this fragrance, but I love the two more. I I, I don't know why, but this is still. This is to me a more unique fragrance, but it's hard. It's getting hard, okay? It's just getting hard. So this is number three. The number two spot would be Dolce and Gabbana's Devotion. Somehow I just really dig this. Well, I, I dig them all. I want all of them, full bottles. And number one release for the year would be Bianco Latte. It is so extremely delicious. So as far as a fun fragrance, uh, this would be the one like, this is just mouthwatering and addictive. Uh, they all have a place. They all are massive loves of mine. So I feel guilty, uh, putting some of them at the bottom cause they're all so freaking stellar. Uh, but that's, that's my list. So seven, seven fragrances. Let's just forget the, the, uh, honorable mention cause I've totally messed it up and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what could I do? I, I love perfume. <laughs> what about you? Out of the new releases, what were your favorite ones? What are the ones that you just totally vibed with and are in love with? Leave them in the comments. I would love to hear them. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon. Where am I? Like, I'm, I'm recycling paper. <laughs> I try to be environmentally conscious here. But uh, anyway, I, I literally couldn't find my pad that didn't have any ink on it. So I just used pages. Anyway, okay, you don't need to know that, do you? Why do I? My son tells me I'm an oversharer and it's absolutely 100% true. He he doesn't mind the fact that I'm an oversharer unless I overshare about him. <laughs> that really takes him off. But anyway, uh, yeah, I have an oversharing issue. I definitely, I, I give way too much. Of, I, I'm way too chat. Yeah. <laughs> mania. <laughs> I have mania. <laughs> She's a maniac, maniac on the run. Or something like that. <laughs> and she's sniffing like she's never snuffed before.